Disclaimer. All the events, characters and firms depicted in this work are fictitious. Any resemblance to real persons, living or dead, is purely coincidental. There is absolutely no intention to hurt any person or group of person of any section of society through this film. This work is solely for the personal, uncompensated enjoyment of ourselves and other Ancient Scrolls Studios fans. Ancient Scrolls Studios Presents Crime Branch Investigations TCS Richard Oxenford DS Ryan Parker DS Adam Evans TCI Alex Meberg TCI Steve Clark DFE Aaron Cook DFE Sasha Brooks Hey there sir, we have cracked yet another case. On the next one now. Glad we cracked it Ryan. Any update for a case? Richard sir, a new case. A body found near the forest. They have called upon us to investigate. Hmm. Okay Adam, you and Steve go ahead and take charge. On my way sir. Any update on who the victim is? Unknown yet. And any idea on who called us? Well nothing as of now Steve. Let's get there and find out. So, you were the one who called us? Yes, officer. What did you see? How did you find this body? I actually live on the other side of the woods, so while returning back from work I heard someone scream. But, before I could reach, this man was dead. Did you see anybody? Well, it was very dark. I doubt I saw anybody. Okay, thank you for informing us. You can go now, but we will call you if required for interrogation. Okay, officer. Sir, victim's name Michael Kohler, identified through his driving license. Cause of death, multiple wounds on the chest, brutally stabbed through knife. A cold-blooded murder with a strong motive. Hmm. Any further updates on where he lives? Occupation, rivals, etc. Working on it. Also, the phone's password protected. Alex is deciphering the code. Once we get through it, we will proceed to check his call records. Dr. Aaron? Has the body arrived yet? Sasha messaged the body has arrived now and she has started with the autopsy. I'll keep updating you. Okay then gentlemen, get to work quickly, let's grab this asshole soon. What does this body speak to you doc? Well, it says it's been stabbed with a dagger multiple times and it died a couple of hours ago. Any fingerprints found? Fingerprints available. But, not matching with the victim. Probably, the killers. Any progress, Alex? It's done, sir. This guy probably owns the restaurant High Tide near East Street. Majority of the calls to a guy named Matthew. Let's find out more about this Matthew and restaurant High Tide. I'll drop you at High Tide and head to meet this Matthew. Hmm. Finally some progress into the case. What would you like to have, officer? Well, I have come here to interrogate regarding a case. Do you know Mr. Michael Kohler? Yes, he's our boss. What happened? I am sorry to inform you that he is no more. He's been murdered yesterday. What? How did this happen? We are investigating. I wanted to know more about Michael. His family. Any rivals? How was he as a person, everything that you know of? His wife died five years ago and they had no children. His only relative I know of is his nephew, Matthew. Oh. And can I see the CCTV footage? Sorry sir, the CCTV is damaged. Great. Anything else about Mr. Kohler? Although Mr. Kohler was a hot-tempered guy, he didn't have any rivals. But yes, he didn't get along very well with Matthew. Every other day they would quarrel or argue with each other. Okay, so Matthew's our guy. Thank you for your time. There. He is. Let's meet him. One Cranberry Sparkler. 
Hi Matthew. Ah, uh, hello officer. Looks like you are having a ball, after killing your uncle. Ain't you? Excuse me? What are you talking about? Don't ask as if you don't know. You killed your uncle yesterday and are acting as if nothing happened. What? Rubbish. That's utter bullshit. I didn't kill my uncle. We'll figure that out. You are coming with us to the bureau. Your officers have forcefully brought me in here. What the fuck have I done? Shut up and answer to what we ask. Anything other than that and I'll throw you into prison. So, where were you last night? Busy, partying. You, and Michael, didn't get along very well. You both always seemed to fight. Isn't it the reason you killed him, to finish this for once and all? Glad that he died, was anyway a pain in the ass. But, mind you officer, I didn't kill him. Especially, when killing him would do me no good. Also I'm not the only one who did not gel with him. There were others also. You can check the footage of the restaurant, he repaired it a couple of days ago. You were the sole heir to his property. You would inherit all of it. Ain't you? Nah, what property? A restaurant acquired through deceit. I would rather not have it, let alone kill him and inherit it. You have no evidence either. You cannot convict me on the basis of hearsay. I am leaving right now. My team will soon come up with an evidence. Mind you Matthew, you can't leave this city until this case is solved. Sir, the forensics have confirmed, the fingerprints do not match. Matthew ain't the killer. I thought so. Although this Matthew is an arrogant brat, I doubted him being the killer. Considering, that killing his uncle would directly jeopardize his own life. We'll have to look out for other suspects, sir. Yup. Meanwhile, split in teams and go to the restaurant and the crime scene. We are definitely missing something. Hey there officer, I saw your team member the other day inquiring about Mr. Kohler. I think I can help. I am a regular customer here. A week prior to this, Mr. Kohler had a heated argument with Jacob. Where's that idiot Jacob? Must be on his way sir. Let him come. I am not going to spare him today. Come here, Jacob. Let's sit and have a chat. I have been hearing a lot of complaints against you. You don't come on time. You don't deliver the parcels either on time. You have also been caught twice trying to steal money from my locker. You are a highly unprofessional dickhead. <clears throat> you. Are. Fired. Mark my words, you will regret this. Ah, Jacob. Anything about his appearance? Well, he does wear a golden earring on his left ear. A golden earring. Did you find anything? Nothing suspicious yet. Hey look, something's lying there. A golden earring. How did we miss this? Hello sir, there's a guy named Jacob who used to work here. Got fired recently because of his work ethics. Had a heated argument with Mr. Kohler. Also, wears a golden earring in his left ear. A golden earring. I think we've got our killer Alex. Great job. Now, find where Jacob is and bring him to the bureau. Glad we caught you. Now live the rest of your life behind the bars. I continue to plead officer, I am not guilty. Sir, match found. It's Jacob? That's great. Inform the officers. Also, I have found something inside the victim's nails. It's probably a piece of skin. Let's identify the owner. Bad news for you Jacob, it's a match on the fingerprints. Now, will you confess your crime? Sir. Somebody is framing me for it. The day I was fired from high tide, my earring got stolen. Also, I don't know how on earth my fingerprints came onto the dagger. Save these excuses for the judge. Sir, I am not guilty. Please, please believe me sir. 
only a few hours before the reports arrive. After that, cry as much as you want behind the bars. A few updates. Yes, doctor. The killer's a left-hander. The angle through which the victim has been stabbed, proved the theory. Also, a piece of skin has been identified which in all likelihood is of the killer's. Thanks Aaron. A left-hander. Ain't Jacob a left-hander? He is sir. And that rules out Matthew of being the killer. But, there's also another left-hander. The chef, Kyle. The chef. Bring him in quickly. Aaron has also found a piece of skin which belongs to the killer. Let's match it with our suspects. Looks like you're in a hurry, Kyle. Need to talk to you regarding the case. I hope you don't mind coming with me to the bureau. The reports will arrive in a few hours. Till then you are in our custody. But I haven't done anything. You are a left-hander Kyle, isn't it? So, how does that make me the killer? Well, it's sufficient enough to put you into the list of the suspects. The results are out, sir. Pretty confusing, though. The fingerprints match with Jacob, but the piece of skin we obtained matches with Kyle. The killer's a left-hander, and they both are left-handers. Is there a possibility of them both being the killers? Could well be, sir. Over to you now. Check the CCTV footage of the restaurant a couple of days prior to this murder. All the answers to our questions lie there. On it, sir. Sir, I think I have found the killer. We've got evidence against you. Sir, I am not guilty. I said those words in the heat of the moment. They absolutely have no meaning. Yes. Sir, we interrogated him. But I doubt him being the one. So you mean he ain't the killer? My gut says he ain't. Okay. Let's interrogate the other one. We've got evidence against you. Only one question, why, did you do it? I haven't done anything. I am not guilty. Jacob must have murdered Kohler. Go catch him, dumb officers. The day Jacob was fired, you purposefully dropped that dagger and asked him to pick it up for you. You then carefully picked it up via gloves and placed it into your bag. You thought with the surveillance down nobody will catch you. But to your unfortunate luck, Mr. Kohler had already repaired the CCTV a day prior to it. So, Kyle, am I right? Yes you are. I was the one. I stole Jacob's earrings and took his fingerprints on the dagger and then framed him up for the murder. Michael was a selfish jerk. You have signed on the papers that claim, I am the sole owner of High Tide. Now collect your shit and get the fuck out of my restaurant. But... Michael I don't remember anything about it. And why are you doing this to me? We are best friends, right? I don't want to hear any of your nonsense. Don't create a ruckus here or I'll call the cops. And yes, my only friend is, money. He fooled my father into signing those papers. He always wanted that restaurant. My father had worked all his life for establishing it. They both were business partners. But, he cheated him. He betrayed him. The amount of mental and financial pain that he gave to my father lead to his death. That's when I decided, Michael will have to pay for his sins. So you entered as a chef in his restaurant so that you could get close to him. But you could have also poisoned him, why kill him with the dagger? I wanted to replicate the exact amount of pain and agony my father suffered because of him. He didn't deserve a normal death. I purposefully used to cancel a few orders. Also, would ensure he suffered maximum losses. I found a scapegoat in Jacob. Kohler had to suffer for his crime. I was only the medium. I have absolutely no regrets on killing him. You will be rightly punished, Kyle. What point in taking revenge, when you are going to suffer the same pain and turmoil? An eye for an eye, makes the whole world blind. <laughs>